Radio alarm clocks, they're great for waking you up in the morning. Breaking news, the Briscoes one day sail. But as a listening device, they're a little bit. This is because there's usually just one mono speaker. The obvious choice for those wanting to wake up to better sound quality would be the Bose Wave Radio. I've already made a video on that, but what if you want something even better than a Bose Wave Radio? What's above that product? Let me present to you the Meridian F80. It's really heavy. It's also a curious product as it was developed in partnership with a leading car manufacturer. Any guesses on who Meridian partnered with to create this wonderful product? The first thing you're probably thinking when you hear the word Ferrari alarm clock is, does it make this noise when it wakes you up in the morning? No, that would be stupid. The second thing you're probably thinking is that, is this just a nice stereo with a Ferrari logo glued to the front like those awful branded products they make? Well, no, this is a product that was developed by Meridian and Ferrari. Let me show you the brochure, which will explain it a little better. The F80 brochure mentions that Ferrari have the expertise in composite technologies and Meridian have the expertise in audio components and combined this is what makes up the F80. But for a little bit more information let's turn to Bob. This is where Ferrari came in because we did a lot of work with them cooperatively in selecting the design, the structure and also the materials that are used in this cabinet. I think you can see here this is made from barium loaded composite, which is very heavy, but it's also the right combination of stiffness and damping. Overall, the design of the F80 is timeless. It reminds me of those Weltron record players from the 1970s. Up top, you have a large display, and below that, you have a line of buttons that you use to control the F80. Below that is the speaker grill with the left and right speakers and the Ferrari logo. At the bottom is where the CDs are loaded in. Of course, this one's missing its CD cover. Around the side is the volume control. Around the back, we have this handy carrying handle, another speaker grill which hides the subwoofer, another Ferrari logo, two antenna inputs, and some video inputs. And one of them is S-Video. And that's surprising because this isn't a 1990s VCR. It also has an auxiliary inputs for standard auxiliary and optical in auxiliary, optical output. It also has a dock for things like iPods. And when you power it on, it goes straight to the last thing that you were using, in this case, the radio. Power dome shower tops, eliminate showers. There is also an AM radio, and it does a decent job, but it's AM radio, so it never sounds that good. It'll be warm, high expected to be 18, the overnight low. The process, however, to set up the presets is a little bit convoluted. First, you have to tune it into the station, and then you have to click here to where your presets are displayed, and then hold uh, one of the preset buttons down until it goes over. And then to go back and to tune more stations in, you have to go back and repeat the same process. It of course plays CDs, but one interesting thing is that it's quite a noisy mechanism. It's especially noisy when you take a CD out. Also has an auxiliary input so you can play music from your phone or mp3 player and with the optical input you can also play music through your streaming service it also has an iPod and Zoom mode I don't think Zoom was even a relevant thing back in 2007 my F80 didn't come with its proper remote but it is backwards compatible with other Meridian remote controls which I think is quite a nice feature. So you can mute and unmute and you can change the station. Of course, it can also be used as an alarm clock and to do that, you click here.
can also set it to wake you to the radio. Meridian intended the F80 to be a versatile device, at home in the bedroom, the office, the living room, the kitchen, or, as the marketing material suggests, the boardroom. So that you could set up the Meridian F80 to perfectly match the environment that you place it in, Meridian included some interesting audio controls. It of course has bass, it has tilt, which is a little bit like treble. Then it also will allow you to set where you place it in a room, and the width of the sound coming out of the speakers. Things I haven't done yet. It sounds excellent. It sounds like a mini Meridian system. It's as if Meridian shrunk one of their larger systems down and formed it in a smaller case. It's that good. It's able to produce the bassiest drums and the most trebly cymbals with ease. And it's within that sound envelope that the Meridian really shines as it's able to unlock potential in your music collection that you may never have heard before because it's able to reproduce all of the instruments clearly and crisply separating them out so that you get a full and dynamic sound stage. This is of course all thanks to the digital signal processing technology which is a signature part of all Meridian products. And if you have it connected to your TV and you're playing a CD, you see this. Of course the real reason I connected it to the TV is to see how well it can play a DVD. So it can play a DVD just fine, but as some reviewers pointed out, why not go a little bit further Meridian with HDMI output and Blu-ray? Well, that's because the DVD video was only a bonus. It was never the reason the DVD was put in the system itself. And the reason it was put in the system was because it was intended to play DVD audio. Yes, DVD audio. A format that you may or may not have heard of, but one that Bob Stewart, Meridian's co-founder, was very passionate about. And that's because at a base level it could do 96 kilohertz and 24-bit sound reproduction. And two-channel stereo, it could produce 24-bit and 192 kilohertz sound, giving true high-resolution audio back in the mid-2000s. To test this out, I created my own DVD audio disc. The only annoying thing is it doesn't display the audio bitrate. One other advantage of this being a DVD player is that it allows you to play your concert DVDs without having to connect them up to a television. The F80 was launched in 2007 with a price of 3000 US dollars. Adjusted for inflation, that's almost four and a half thousand US. At launch, it was available in five Ferrari colors. Rosso Corsa Red, Moderna Giallo Yellow, Argentino Nürburgring Bright Silver, Nero Black, and Bianco Avis White. Later, it was available in Burgundy, Graphite, Midnight Blue, and Metallic Gold. In 2010, Meridian launched the M80. It was essentially the same product, but clad in leather, without the Ferrari branding. It was available in leather trims chestnut, obsidian black, and ivory. And if you have stayed at the Savoy Hotel in London, then you might have seen the gloss black edition created exclusively for that hotel. Meridian, on a roll of collaborations, used the internals of the F80 to create the Alfred Dunhill AD88, which was a Meridian and Alfred Dunhill collaboration. It was more expensive than the F80 at $4,000 at launch. 
That's 5,700 US today. It was available in gloss black or a mahogany finish. The Meridian F80 is perhaps the ultimate tabletop stereo. Nothing else combines such crystal clear sound reproduction in such small dimensions, therefore making it perfect for the home office, the kitchen or the bedroom. If you're looking at getting a Meridian F80 for yourself, then shop around because prices vary considerably. I picked up mine for around 400 New Zealand dollars. brings us on to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment and tell me about your Meridian experience. I'll be making a follow-up video where I address the CD cover on the F80 and a few other little minor things that need fixing. But for now, it's goodbye. Sun is shining